All right, everybody. So here we are, got a beaver lodge right there. Actually a really big beaver lodge right there, big feed pile. Um, <clears throat> we found a really nice bank den back there. And as we're walking up, look at this bank den right here, plain as day. Like, how can you miss that? Boom, hard, like sandy run. fact my guess is this run right here see this run right here so as I come up here you see this and you think oh this run goes up underneath here that's not how it, that's not the case go like this my chisel popping around here the run actually goes up underneath here because you come over to here boom 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 no ice here whatsoever so the run actually comes out like this and turns. So we're, we're just gonna chop this out right here real quick. In fact, I'm just gonna kick it out because guess what? There is no ice here. And then I'm gonna put my foot in here. Feel super hard. run right here only you know it's going to be easy setting these hardest part i'm going to find is getting sticks to set these traps two banked in so far i can see one in the front of the house there hopefully we can set that one previous years it's been tough getting ones on the house monster this lodge is actually massive you guys There's a run right there. Like I said, I just don't know if I'll be able to set it or not because traditionally, yeah. Oh gosh, that one's actually super shallow. I don't know if this is a new run or what, but this one's gonna be set. I'd say if I can help it. Feels good. I'm getting in this water here. Yeah, nice hard bottom run right here, you guys. That we can set up. So I guess, I think we have four, I think we have four runs. Found a third bank den. I'll check the other side of the lodge, but I'm gonna grab some sticks and we're gonna start setting. All right, cleaning my lens off. Hopefully a little bit. Got this run in the lodge right here. We're gonna set up. <sighs> kind of a pain in the butt finding sticks out here, you guys, and I knew it would be too. It's why well, I, I was like, I just, I just knew every time I decide to set this beaver house up, it's always hard to set because there's just a lack of good quality sticks here. And I know better than that. So I should uh, be prepared when I actually come to set this beaver lodge. Okay, blocking off stick in this last Victor 330 with us um, the other ones going the other ones are Dukes okay it's it's been sleeting out you guys so these traps are literally covered nice so when you're doing that you want to be extremely careful those traps the slightest bump can fire them so if you're playing with one or, or you know or, or doing something with it just know that anytime that sucker can fire okay get this up where you can see it i can see my blocking off stick on that side I'm trying to match par with it basically oh, oh there we go well not really but There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, that one's in there. 
we're gonna make it but I think I left it at a uh, place I was cutting some safety wires off there we go Ugh. I got this wild looking swivel stick going on here I can actually see down into this one to put this in which is kind of nice dude that traps in in Lake Flynn okay blocking off stick okay got a good uh, good steak here along with a good oh no ice right there Got a good stake and a good swivel stick here. Good trap on this wide open bank den. At least I think I do here. There we go. Traps are all iced up still. Just trying to. Oh. When these traps are iced up like that, you can literally blow on this, this like the spot where you think you're gonna leave, leave your trap at. Blow on that spot, it will thaw it out really fast there we go this one here I'm just gonna feel in this run a little bit or I think this trap needs to go okay okay yep want this trap right about here in this run oh. Oh. I'm gonna have to pound it in because the bottom of this lake is nothing but rock and sand. There we go, I feel much better about that. There we go, okay. Oh, trap is in. Just gotta get this swivel stick in place. Oh, you guys, this is so much work in this crappy weather. All right. <sighs> Trap is set. Just gotta anchor to this big old dead stick here. And we're gonna be golden. Okay. Another trap in, I got one left. Okay, last run. It's actually the first one we found. You guys just didn't see it. But got a nice bank den here. When we walked by this bank den, a beaver actually came out. Got these tiny little triggers on this 330. Hopefully they uh, work really good. It's one of my bait three or one of my bait baited 330 traps I usually use. But today it is a run 330. Okay, swivel stick, axe, stake. Gonna get in the run here. Can feel everything. Yeah, oh yeah, right there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully this steak doesn't fall apart on me. It's very flimsy, but it's all I got, you guys. It's literally all I got to work with right now, at this point in the day. I'm gonna pound it in here a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't just shatter, but I'm guessing it will. That is shattering, but it's going in the ground a little bit. Okay, it's going in the ground, and my trap is right there. I'm liking this, I'm liking it. Feel good about it. 
Whoa. Just went in the run. Okay. Ah, I don't like it. Was liking it, now I don't like it. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. I think I like it now. There we go, last trap into this place, you guys. We'll be back tomorrow to check. All right. Well, Back to this lodge here. Actually brought more sticks and different traps to replace these banked ends traps I set in. This looks, this stick looks like it's been moved quite a bit. Now that I'm just looking at it here, I don't know. Good, bad, I don't know. Trap sprung. I don't know if there's anything in it or not. What oh, trap has sprung? Oh. oh, yeah, we got something. Small beaver, big beaver. Oh, little beaver. Right by the front shoulders here coming into the run. Got that this morning sometime because You can see where the snick the stick actually moved around in the snow. So we got one beaver for sure on this run. I you know if you if you set the lodge you can expect to catch small beaver, okay? You catch one bank dens too, that's that's a gimme. You know, and they're active like that, but They'll definitely catch them on bank, or you know, in uh, bank dens, or I mean house runs, the house, the lodge. He'll catch them in the lodge for sure. Okay, is that? Double checking to make sure everything's where I left it at. should say. Okay. That is in there. I'm going to swing this trap right where we want it. Okay, first trap, one beaver. This next trap, I don't have a lot of faith in it. Extremely hard to set. So I literally brought a different trap to replace it. <sighs> 
nothing. This did not feel comfortable with, sometimes you just don't feel comfortable with sets and how they're in the runs and this is one of them. All right, well, I'm gonna replace this trap and then we'll go check the next one. Oh. Okay. Get over to this set here. And I have no idea what's going on. Is there, I don't know. It doesn't look too promising to be honest with you. Nope. This trap is actually still set. Huh. You know what, that trap doesn't look bad. We're gonna leave it. Well, I guess one small beaver out of this place. We'll be back. Well, if everybody hasn't noticed, it is blizzarding out today. <laughs> to add to all the fun stuff I've had to battle trapping this week. All this snow here in Minnesota we're getting right now is gonna wreck everything. Trapping is going to be impossible. Going to ruin the fishing. Just everything is going to be so hard to do right now. Oh. Hopefully we get a beaver or two. Make this uh, day pay off for us. I think we got one beaver yesterday. And that was on the lodge. I did, uh, oh, I didn't bring my ax, darn it. Ax is actually kind of important for getting these sticks in the ground. Oh boy, here maybe, maybe. Oh, sticks look a little, stuff looks a little messed up here, to be honest with you. That's not normal right there. My swivel stick. My, oh yeah, there we go. There's my stake. This is going to pay off, you guys. Switch that trap out for a Victor 330. I bet we're gonna have a big, big beave. Hard work pays off, right? Hopefully. Right by the head. Oh, yep, we got a big beaver here coming in, right? Yep. Nice big beaver here coming into the lodge. Or coming into this bank den. Oh boy. Oh. What a day. Uh-oh, they're dropping the bombs. Just kidding, that means it's noon. <laughs> okay. Well, that makes me feel better, you guys. I, I hate to put out a, a video where I catch one little beaver for you guys, but hate to say it, I would do that just to show you guys that sometimes hard work doesn't always just pay off ultimately. There we go. Get this guy turned over here a little bit. I was push on their chest, kind of get them straightened out there. There we go. I like it. I think this trap might have been sprung yesterday with nothing in it, to be honest with you. But that's not the case today, you guys. Super happy. Now, can I throw it in the sledge from here? Oh, bingo. Now, my problem is yesterday, so the, 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 the bottom of these runs is literally rock, rock hard sand and gravel. So I had to pound that stake into the bottom with my ax. And I have nothing to do that with today. So, I'm 
Let's hope we can get this in the bottom here good enough to... Oh, I think we are. I think that's in there, you guys. Good enough. <sighs> I don't think there's anything in it, though. I don't think there's anything in it. Just a guess. Yep. Trap is still set, you guys. Well, one small beaver yesterday, one big beaver today. We'll be back again for one more check on this bad boy. Okay. Last check here. Pulled two beaver out of here. A big one and a small one. Let these traps set a couple days. Well, so, I mean, <clears throat> I'm not sure what's going on here, but it almost looks like my sticks have been moved around a little bit, maybe. That could be a strong possibility. Whoa. Oh, yeah. There's a beaver. I'm st I just stepped on it. Uh, I just stepped on a beaver. So I noticed these sticks were all messed up. Oh, right? Yeah, we got a big beaver. Oh, thankfully. Didn't want to have to run you guys through another bummer. Oh. Bummer check with nothing in it. Oh. oh, you guys. This is so ugly. Look at that. Oh. We got a beaver, though. Big one, too, it looks like. Oh, huh. gosh, it's an awfully dark one. Not a real big one, I guess. But big enough. Big enough. Look at that. <laughs> I'm surprised, he didn't, no wonder he struggled so much, you guys. Look at that. There's a rock that got stuck in my 330. But the beaver couldn't get his head out. See that? There's a rock stuck in this 330 right here. Oh. And that beaver Oh my gosh, that was, that's luck. Bad luck for the beaver, but good luck for us. Jesus. Oh. Okay. There we go. Rock. Stuck in a 330, but not enough to where the beaver got away. That's not a little beaver. I mean, it's not a kit. Nice dark colored beaver too. Nice. Well, last chance saloon. We got one beaver out of that set. <coughs> I mix three out of this lodge. I think a really small one, a blanket, and then this is probably a large, I'd say. A lot more beaver left in here, but conditions are just bad. We're not gonna make it back out trapping here anytime soon, any soon anyway. Guessing late winter, spring probably is gonna be when we get back out. There's just mother nature wrecked our conditions for us, guys. It's not good. We'll see. Well, I can get my snowmobile out and, and things firm up maybe. I can do some baited sets. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, follow me, Instagram, 330 Maniac Fishing and the Minnesota Trapper. Also, 330 Maniac Outdoors on Facebook. Thanks for watching.